Have you ever been scrolling through Reddit, or maybe even a Discord, and seen some screenshots of city skylines that just look so phenomenal and wondered how they look so good? Well, today I'm going to give you some really basic tips to help make that happen. Here are some example screenshots. Some are mine, some are from a good friend, JFC. I will link his Twitch in the description below. Be sure to check out his streams. He does some really wonderful things with this game and I've learned a lot from him. Now, let's see if we can get a screenshot or two to look like this in today's video. First things first, how to take a screenshot. You can be stubborn like me and use print screen on your keyboard and then paste it into paint <laughs> or use the Windows snippet tool. Or you can be like probably most people who play City Skylines through Steam and either press F12 for a screenshot or Shift plus F12 for a high res screenshot. Here's a side by side of the two. You tell me in the comments if you can tell the difference. Next, mods. I have a video in the info card shown on your screen right now that talks about 10 mods to make your cities beautiful. Go check it out. It will help you with getting rid of the vanilla murkiness and making your texture sharp. As far as the actual screenshot though, there is one mod that stands out from the rest. Camera Positions Utility. This mod lets you tuck right in close here to the ground and I hope that it's obvious why this is so beneficial. Look at all of these different angles that you can get. If you're going to use only one mod for your screenshots, use this one. Other useful mods to mention are Ultimate Eye Candy to help change visual settings on the fly for reasons that we'll get into real soon. Ultimate Level of Detail for when you want to zoom out further but still get definition on your assets. And Cube Map Replacer with Daylight Classic to change up the visuals of the sky. Finally, the actual tips. First, foremost, simplest, use cinematic camera. Either click here in the bottom right of the screen or press tab on your keyboard. This removes road names, problem icons, and the GUI, all of which clutter your screen and make for an unprofessional looking screenshot. This is basic level stuff. Make sure you take the time to use cinematic camera. Use angles to your advantage. Take a look at the difference between the way the road looks like this, the way the road looks like this, or like this. Next level of good screenshotting. Use this depth of field setting. It's a vanilla setting and it chooses how close to the camera things start to blur on screen. See this comparison as I start at the lowest depth of field and slowly move higher. Having at least some level of blur in the background is usually beneficial. It gives the image depth as the name depth of field implies. Don't forget to patch up little spots in the area you're screenshotting if they need it. Look at this image without the pavement drawn in and benches placed versus with. It should look and feel finished if you're trying to show something off. Tall trees or tall buildings can frame a shot. I don't have artistic training, but I personally think that it can be visually appealing to have a tall tree near the side of a frame like this. Don't be afraid to use your ultimate eye candy or similar mods to change where your shadows lie for the angle you're using. Take a look at how different this view can be with the different latitudes, longitudes, and time of day. Final tip, capture your cities at different times of the day. If you're taking nighttime screenshots, look for places like this that have unique lighting at night. Better yet, make places like this that have unique lighting at night. In the info cards now, you should see another video of mine all about using lighting in the game to your advantage. Check it out. Hopefully you found these tips helpful and can start sharing your best screenshots around Reddit or Discords that you're in. Uh, speaking of, I've recently signed up for Instagram with the intention of showing off some of my cities, but I'm feeling a little shy about it. If you want to follow me there, you can find me by searching for Toady YPQ or clicking the link in the description below. Be sure to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, thanks for having me everyone and I will catch you next time.